Okay, I am back, and, uh, yeah, I'm going over the effects right now. Uh, so, let's see where we were at. We were at the DSer. Uh, a lot of these I'm not quite sure yet, because, again, I've not used all of these. This is, like, a really big package <laughs> that it came with. Now, the one thing I wanted to, I wanted to mention to you, though, uh, if you guys want to see uh, what a lot of this stuff does, I mean... I, I can put up another video about what every single one of these do, but as of now, I'm not going to, because <laughs> I'm kind of pushing for time. I don't want to focus mainly on this right now, because these are actually not built into Cubase. I'm actually mainly going for what's built into Cubase LE5. So the one thing I wanted to do that I wanted to mention, this multiband right here, this is a multiband compressor from this uh, bundle, but the only problem is... Uh, for some reason, if you put it on more than, uh, more than one track, it won't work on the other track. It'll work on the first track you put it on, but once you go to another, uh, another track to use a multiband on, it will not work for some reason. So, uh, for the MDA, uh, bundle that you can find for free VST... Uh, the multiband compressor does not work for me, at least, on more than one track. So just keep that in mind when getting that. Every any, anything else on this that I use, everything else works just fine. Actually, it works really, really good for a free VST. Uh, so that's that. The Rough Rider, that's a compressor. That that's actually what I use for the drums. It's really nice for mainly the uh, snare drum. Uh, the snare it gives it that nice really like tight uh punchy really just in your face kind of snare i mean i don't know how to explain it it just sounds really nice so again i'll show you the clip of a song i'm working on and i'll let you hear the snare for yourself uh you won't be able to tell the difference though i guess not really because you don't know before and after kind of thing so you don't know what it did or did not do to it uh so yeah that's that and then <clears throat> I forgot to mention the filters. Uh, the dual filter is uh, stock from Cubase LE5. Uh, it's a Steinberg uh, filter. It's really good. Um, now, I'm drawing a brain fart right now. I forgot what the filter does. <laughs> so as soon as, uh, as soon as my brain kind of starts working again, I will uh, put an annotation up on the top of the video. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the filter, for as far as I know, I used the filter before on something. I cannot remember because I cannot remember what it did. Uh, yeah, I know. Very helpful, ain't I? Uh, so yeah, that uh, the filters were really good. They work really good. Uh, Freeamp, that's, that's a fun program, actually. That has a really good tone to it. <laughs> For being a free amp modulator, that actually really has a really good. Actually, I could. I'm gonna try and open this up. Please do not lock up on me. I do not want this to lock up. Okay, discard. I don't think it should though, because yeah, see, Cubase is kind of frozen a little bit, but it'll open. There it is. Okay, this is free amp 25. Now I know I just said well 2.5, but 25 is what it names uh, the file. I know I said I'm going to say everything that's in Cubase LE5, but I'm also trying to go through as many of the VSTs as I can. Freeamp, awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Now, of course, it's not going to be just, it's not going to be anywhere close to, um, ah, oh, what is it? What is it? Uh, the, and, the, and it, the, uh, yeah. I forgot. It's the guitar simulator, like the most popular guitar simulator out there. It's, uh, I'll think of it. I'll put an annotation. Again, annotations help when you forget stuff and you remember later. But, uh, this, uh, you can select where you want to put the mic. If you want to put the mic in the middle or whatever, the amp, or if you want to put it on the top left speaker, it adds a little more treble, I think it is. The right one, I think it adds a little more of the mid frequencies, uh, higher mids. And the lower mid frequencies, I think, are here. And then right here, the low end, bassy. So if you want your guitar to sound more bassy, this is literally if you just want to do a plug and play kind of thing. You just so you just EQ your guitar as best you can. And then you just literally plug it in without any distortion on the amp or whatever. 
and you have effects right here and it sounds awesome so that's a really good free VST VSTi actually I think it would be it's it's an amp simulator and then uh a lot of these actually are pretty fun to mess with whenever I'm bored. I'll just start talking to the mic and record, and then I'll just mess with a lot of these. Like Metalizer, I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, it turns your voice kind of robot -y. So let me try this. <laughs> I have not tried this yet, so let me, let me see this. Whoa. That sounds trippy. Okay, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> so yeah, again, messing with these a lot of these when you're bored is a good way to get rid of all your boredom. Uh, so yeah, again, I showed you all the free ones. Uh, well, the free ones uh, are the ones... Uh, okay, there. <laughs> I showed you the free ones, but I also showed you the stock pl uh, plugins for this that are you know already built into Cubase LE5. Uh, then you got the other free ones that are here. The JCM 900 and the, well, actually, pretty much this down is uh, amp simulators I got from, where did I get those from? Actually, I think I just Googled those. I just got them from a website that I Googled. I'm not sure, actually, sure. Yeah, no, those, those in the free amp I got from a uh, random site. I'm, I probably forgot where I got those. I'll put the link in the description, though. But, um, uh, yeah, the the this right here actually is pretty nice, especially because it's got uh the bo it actually comes with like a boss pedal, pretty much. Uh, that's the stack the some stack something, and uh the something something. <laughs> I know, very helpful. So yeah, that's literally all the effects you can put it up to eight effects in here. These last two, not quite sure what uh why they're yellow. But, uh, yeah, and then the same principles apply right here. You activate right here, and then you just hit this to bypass, or you can bypass it, to, you know, through here. So if you want the row body sound, and if you bypass it, okay, and if you bypass it, then it'll just take away all the effects and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, and then you have your sends. You can create a send uh, right here. We don't really have a send. But what that's for, if you record like three tracks okay what are what I do I will put a tutorial up soon on this uh, if you have uh, drums and t and you want to EQ each uh, and you want to EQ the whole entire set uh, and still be able to tweak with the set uh, with each individual piece in the set so like say you recorded you have a floor hi-hat snare three times uh, two floor toms and a ride and two crashes or whatever. Okay, if you can remember all that, and say you want to be able to tweak all those still, but just add an overall compressor or something for all those, then you just create an auxiliary send to an effects channel, and you would just link all those tracks with the effects channel, and there you go. So that's how that works. And then um, that's actually about it for the sends. Uh, the EQ, again, for the channels are right here. You have everything that you have right here in one box right here, one window. So that's really helpful. I like the layout. The layout of Cubase is amazing. But uh, actually, if I'm not mistaken, that's about it. So, I mean, I don't think there's anything else that I need to introduce. That's literally Cubase LE5 for you right there. Um. Yeah, I think, I th actually, I think that's it. So, uh, if uh, this helped, I hope this doesn't cut out when I'm saying this. Uh, but if this helped, uh, I hope it did. Uh, choose Cubase again. It comes with numerous pieces of equipment uh, for Cubase LE5. So you pay that, you get Cubase for free, pretty much, and it's amazing. I got mine with my Digitech, but they also have them for an Alesis IO4, I think it is. Uh, it's like a mixer. They come with uh, Cubase LE5 comes with that too. So again, yeah, it's an amazing program for free, pretty much, pra technically free. <laughs> so it's it's amazing. I like it. Uh, 
So if I get a chance, I will uh, try and going to cut out. Anyway, what I was saying was I'm going to try and get a job and uh, hopefully get enough money to buy Cubase 6 and some and pretty much anything to improve my studio. Well, studio quotation or marks. But anyway, so uh, again, I hope this helped. If it did, uh, feel free to comment, rate, and sub. Comment, rate, favorite, subscri- yeah, subscribe. Um, yeah, not only to this channel, to my other channel too, TMP2295. Um, that's where I do all my guitar and vocal covers. Uh, this one, I'm going to be putting up, again, my original material and, uh, my tutorials and such. So, uh, again, I hope this helped. If it did, then, uh, subscribe and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, the, I'm going to put up a little clip of some audio, a song I actually recorded already i'm actually working on there's gonna be vocals so it's not finished yet it's just like a it's not finished eqing everything yet either so it's just a little little taste of what it's gonna sound like so hope you guys like it and uh that's about it so uh, i'm out later